sounds like a dog. <laughs> I try. Welcome back to Team Bro Apocalypse. I guess this is we're calling vlogs. I guess vlogs. Yeah. Sure. This is like number five or six. <clears throat> I think this is number six. First one of 2016, though. Yeah. True. We're True, only true. six days in. We are almost a week in. Almost a week I'm in. Twenty-one and a half years and three days. Dang, man. Dang. I only bring that up not because like You're I'm like tw- ten. Not because I'm like ten, but because people just have randomly been asking me, "How old are you?" And then I'm like, "Well, it was my half birthday well, the other day." Well, I do look twelve. So I thought I would answer, "Yeah, I'm twenty-one and a half plus this many days." But eventually, I'll just not necessarily lose track of days, but just not care to do the math. See, the only reason I know uh, when my half birthday is is because my sister's birthday is offset the day. Mm. Like, it's like my half birthday and then my sister's birthday immediately. See, the reason I know my half birthday is because my cousin was born January 2nd and then my half birthday. So yours is on, I guess, the 3rd. July 3rd, yes. That would make sense. It would. (laughs) But I, after this, am going to hit the gym because 2016, New Year, New Resolutions, New Year, New You. I'm going to start lifting, get some mad gains, like Ira gains, 24 season one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, you you have a story, don't you? I have a story. <laughs> Gather around, children. When did this happen? This happened like Saturday or Sunday, probably. Uh, Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. This wasn't last night. It might have been Monday night. Yeah, I'm not really sure. No, it wasn't Monday because you rode with me to my house Monday. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, it was some random day and... It was Friday. It was Friday. It was Friday night because then we... Okay. You tell the story, and then we'll say why we know it was that day. Okay. So, the reason that we're telling this story is because I almost died had I not been a butt. I almost witnessed his death had I not been a butt. So, I was driving from Braden's house to my house. Braden was driving from his house to my house. So, we're going along, and we make it to the stoplight at Pike and Aldrich, and pull into the turning lane, waiting for the arrow to turn green. So we're waiting, and we're waiting, and Braden's a little ways behind me, and then he pulls it behind me at the stoplight, and I'm like, oh, it'll be funny to, like, just wait three seconds when the light turns green just to annoy Braden. So the light turns green, and I kind of, like, I actually count in my car, like, one, two, three, get ready to go, and this car just comes blaring through the intersection. He was going at least 60 miles an hour. Like, had I not stopped it to be a butt, I would have died. Like, Well, the... maybe not died, but it would have been bad. From where I was sitting, Alec just goes there and like stops and calmly waits for this car to come screaming across his vision. I was like, how did Alec know? I was, I was, because I'm a Jedi. <laughs> like, like, I thought Alec, like, you like paused and looked and you were like, that gentleman is flying this way. <laughs> I should probably not go. Yeah, that, and I like, that happened, and I was like, I hope Braden saw that, because I need to talk. I need to talk about this as soon as I get out of my car. This now, is insane. Now you've told the internet. And now we've told the internet. Now everyone knows. So, that yeah. These videos. Almost died. But I'm alive, and I'm here making more videos for you guys to watch. Yeah. That's so, what keeps me going. <laughs> it was the day before my wife's birthday. My wife just turned 24. And so what we did... What we did was we blew up balloons to put all over the house. So when she woke up, there were 240 balloons all in the living room. Ten balloons for for each year she's been alive. It was great. My house is still covered in balloons. Yes, it is. I was just there. I I can attest. Yeah. So, uh, let's talk about, uh, competition. Competi- competitivity? Competitiveness. Okay. The reason I bring this up is because my supervisor told me a really funny story about how on some, like, school trip or a mission trip or something, uh, it was, it was a mission trip. 
uh, his friends were like taking soda and like drinking it as fast as they can. And they got this bottle oh, of Mountain no. Dew and they were just like, bet you can't drink it as fast as we can. And he was like, you're on. And he drank it all. And then he put half a bottle of X-Lax in it. Oh no. <laughs> then I thought like, that'd be the last thing on his mind. He'd be like, ha, huh, bet you can't drink this fast. We're like, the heck I can. <laughs> and then I thought like, that would be me. would be like, I have to prove them wrong. <laughs> and like you, you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Like, on the scale of competitiveness... Especially it's Mountain Dew. Like, if it, I, well, it depends on the type of Mountain Dew. Plain Mountain Dew, I wouldn't do it. Like, on, there is a scale of competitiveness, I've just decided. There is you who couldn't give a flip. It, it depends you on some You don't care. It depends on some things. But in the grand scheme of things... In the grand scheme of things, I don't he's, care. Meh. I don't care. On the extreme far end of the spectrum is Zach Van Winkle. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is the most competitive person ever. The most competitive douche <laughs> ever. Yeah, especially when he calls upon his retard strength. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there was that time I punched you, and he was just like, I have to hit harder than him. <laughs> I have to hit harder. Let's punch him in the kidney. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I still pee blood. <laughs> no, you don't. I hope. I, I don't. It's no, been don't. like seven years, man. <laughs> wow. Well, it's been you know, eight years, seven and a half. Health insurance, man. And then I, I like to think I am somewhere in the middle. Some things I just don't care about, but other things I will fight to the death. <laughs> well, I thought that was an interesting, like, I feel like if you someone just like, ha, bet you can't drink this, you won't. <laughs> Give it here. A thing that I know for sure that I could win against you, who could eat the most ice cream in one sitting. That is true. That would be me. I am an ice cream fiend. Fiend. Not the word I was thinking. <laughs> oh, man. That is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I figured, like, on the scale, there is you, then me, then Zach. Yeah. that's That would be a safe scale to... Yeah. And then I thought, like, how many of my friends, like, could I pull that on? <laughs> and Zach would be one of them and be like... <laughs> Bet you can't do it as fast as I can. Zach would be like, bro, you're on. <laughs> joke would be on him, though. He would be the butt of that joke. <laughs> He'd have a crappy time. <clears throat> no, I just thought that was so funny. Just like, this little 17-year-old kid. Bet you can't drink this as fast. <laughs> and then the rest of his week was ruined. Man. You're not supposed to have half a bottle of x lax No, you're, you're not. And then... Uh, Maybe only half a teaspoon at once. <laughs> he told the youth pastor, and the youth pastor didn't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was just making a scene, <laughs> going to the bathroom all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, teenagers, like, come on. Teenagers, like, they're going to be butts. They don't make any sense. They really don't. Like, I was one just a few years ago. And their spirit has a tangible smell. Just ask Kurt Cobain. I guess so. Oh. <laughs> he has a tangible smell now, too. Oh. <laughs> Man. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> We're terrible people. <clears throat> yes, we are. There's a flock of turkeys in my backyard today. So yeah. that was fun. Yeah. Why didn't you like go out and try to like wrangle one? I well, totally would have. That's retarded. They have spurs and will attack you like roosters. It's a bird. When was the last time a bird killed a man? I mean, I honestly don't know, but... Like, just birds can still severely injure people. Like, Swans have enough power flapping their wings they can break bones. I would take my knife and I would run out there and I would stab a turkey. <laughs> Like, you guys would be eating, like, kings tonight. That's ridiculous. But seriously, there were, like, 10 or 15 of them, like, just right out there. Oh, it they were insane. gallivanting over there? Yeah. <laughs> they just, like, popped in, like... Like, I took I took pictures, but when I approached the window, they, like, ran away. I guess you and could was... say they left your backyard cold turkey. That was bad. Don't encourage him. It's a callback to an earlier episode that we recorded two and a half years ago. Um... Yeah, so that just happened. Wow. But yeah, turkeys were in my backyard. Like, the dog was outside, and the dog was barking, being dumb, and I was like, dog, why are you being dumb? So I let him back in. Come to find out, the freaking dog had, like, tangled himself around the bush again, so I had to untangle all that business, let him in. 
And then I like made myself a beef burger, like came back in my room and I saw something like moving outside my window and I was like, what is that? It's just a giant flock Last of Last thing he expected, turkeys. So my dog was barking at turkeys. As they do. Yeah. So that was cool. They all probably live in the field back out that way. Let's go get them, man. Like they yeah. probably they probably took Let's your get them. They probably took your uh, your trash can. <laughs> like they live in that. Like, it's, not tra- it's not my it's not my trash can. It was a trash can that was here long before I was. Like by like a year or two. Pre ninety four. Yes, pre ninety four. I don't think this house existed in ninety four. I think it was just a field in ninety four. I think you were just a field in ninety four. Hmm. No. Wow. This has been good. <laughs> this has been good. I've enjoyed this episode. <laughs> it has been quite good. Let's uh let's not get it as long as our New Year's one though. That was no, a long episode. That was really long. But that was a special occasion. It was. Um things coming up. We will have a podcast come out sometime soon. Hopefully. We have the artwork for it, so hopefully I can work on that. You should be able to finish it up in the next hour if you really wanted to. If I really wanted to. So, yeah, be expecting a podcast soon, I guess. And I anything else? To <clears throat> yeah, we're basically going to be. The podcast is going to be more talking about like religious issues and such. Maybe some social issues. I don't know. Yeah, basically whatever we want to talk about. Yeah, because it's a podcast. We do what we want. Hoorah. Do you have any uh, words of wisdom to leave us off with? Um, and by words of wisdom, you mean the random factoids that you get off of Tumblr? Oh, actually, um, <clears throat> man, what was that good one the other day? You know, I don't remember. I will have a word of wisdom next time, though. I'm really bad at this. I should find these and write these down. Most of them are shower thoughts. I have one. Never laugh at a live dragon.